Kytrosu commented under my archetype discussion, it would be really great if you could do videos where you play games and explain what you're doing throughout the game. And I definitely agree on that. And I will try to do things like that, but seeing as it's really hard to play and comment at the same time, I decided to make it like post commentary things like right now. So I hope you enjoy this following video. This will be a post, a post commentary and yeah, let's just get right into the video. Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here and I welcome you to this new video. Today we want to talk about a replay and in this replay I have been playing against Team Samurai X1 on his stream. He is a great YouTuber and a good friend and I have been playing the usual stuff and he has been playing Metal Foe Zodiac with Bababoon, literally the deck he has just uploaded today. I will link the, his deck profile in the description because, well, it was just so handy that he recorded, uh, that he uploaded it today. Alright. So, first things first, I want to address that I played on this duel at 3am, so mistakes are a given. And I will go through all my mistakes and everything that has been done right and wrong from both players so that we can have a good insight on the duel. So let's just jump right in. So I start with a mm, admittedly not that bad hand, so I could go for a Lion Gunder combo. However, I actually fuck this up a little and decide to end my turn without normal summoning the Smiger. My thought behind this was I'm most likely playing against a Malifo deck because he played a Malifo before, and I could definitely get rid of most things just by using Black Rose Drain, which is set up with this field as well. However, I did forget that he is playing Zodiacs as well, so a Trishula with Smiger would have been way better in this situation. And you will see it soon. Also, you will see the Ghost Oak and Snow Rabbit, but <coughs> I decide not to use it now because it's way too likely that he has another scale of a hand because he most likely plays every scale thrice. And that's almost true, he plays 14 scales, so that's, that's a thing. So he goes for the um, combo here and this is what hurt the most, basically. I wanted to use Black Rose Dragon now, so that he couldn't do anything and I could just bash his entire field off and basically he doesn't have his combo. But now that he has Max Seed dropped, I cannot really go for Black Rose Dragon anymore because he will draw four cards regardless of what I do. And those four cards will basically just rip me off, which is why I need Field Presence. And Black Rose Moonlight Dragon is this field present. So this Maxi really hit me in the face. Now he is going for, sadly, more level 3 monsters, enough to get the Invoker back. And goes for the Zudia combo. And from this point, it's just straightforward Zudia comboing, which everyone can literally do. Yeah, I think it's not too, um, yeah, too complicated. I'll just let him do this for uh, for some time before drawing the Ghost Ogre at the effect of Drancia, so Drancia couldn't pop in my turn. Because I thought that if he adds himself a Beast Warrior which is not Whiptail, he'll be he'll be having a Whiptail in his hand. So I wanted to uh, be sure that he can just give me my turn because he hasn't got enough damage on the field. He couldn't get enough damage on the field, and I can literally just go for combos now. Now I have a perfect top deck, which is a different dimension deep sea trench with a and of a graveyard, so this is perfect. You'll just see what I do of this, basically. So I go for this bigger combo. He tries to go into Alkahest, but forgets that he has the Dra Dragoons of Draconia already in the graveyard, so he can only go for another Mephrilium, that's a misplay of his. But at least he gets more cards on the field, I guess. So yeah, I just go for a basic, uh, for a basic combo and gimp up a quarry and gun Rex in the opponent's turn, uh, in, in my own turn actually. And I basically try to banish all the bigger monsters on the field, but I get hit by a dimension of barrier. This dimension of barrier of course hits me very very hard because, well, I wanna get rid of this field to actually get him to the game. With me not being able to get rid of this field, I have to crash into the, uh, I have to destroy the Mephrilion by battle. So he cannot bounce my shit, so he has to use Kirin to bounce my shit. But he goes for a pretty long Malfoe's combo right there. Basically, not very, not really long, but 
he goes for some plays. Right now, I was too scared if, uh, that he goes for Drancia, so I already used this. But he goes for the Naturia Beast, which is way less scary. And then he basically just uh, panel him summon to Kirin, and I try to go for Evertrix to stall out another turn. However, that doesn't work because he has a second dimensional barrier. Yep, two dimensional barriers. I just got hit by the face by two. <laughs> and at this point it's game because double pierce and even if not double pierce, I have a Preziol and Preziol has not enough ATK to block. So, the main mistake of this duel was that I was not uh, using Trishula. I was not normally summoning the Smiger I had on my hand, therefore I was unable to actually prevent him from doing the Zodiac combo which would have resulted in a way better playing circumstance for me and I basically just fucked that up big time. I did have a combo on the next turn but dimensional barriers are a thing and he played it mostly pretty well with his traps and stuff but the, the only thing that I don't understand was um, the Naturia Beast and the Full Metal Full Fusion into Oracle. He, sh he should have checked the requirements for Arcahaz first on his turn. So he didn't drop the um, Dragoons of Draconia. But all in all, this has been a solid duel and it was very, very much fun. I am sad that I lost the second duel <laughs> against Sam as well. The first duel was already a long, long time ago. It was in October, I guess, which uh, was his Shadows against my B Ice Barrier Monarchs. Don't know when exactly it was, but it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. That has been this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have, like... A lot of Chris Ron videos if you want to check out the Chris Ron stuff. I will of course link his de deck profile for his video in the descript uh, for his deck in the description as I mentioned before. I hope you all guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay Ravened.